In this tutorial, we'll have a look at controlling light levels. So, I've got this footage of seals here. I have my effects controls panel open. And I'm in my effects area in this panel here as well. Now, if you've had a look at the colour tutorial, you'll have already seen the colour correction area. There are some simple filters in the same menus as the colour con uh, color correction tutorial for controlling light. The simplest one is brightness and contrast, so I'm going to drag that across to wildlife. We can see here if we left click and hold and drag to the right, the brightness increases. And sometimes it's nice to balance that with lower contrast or higher contrast. With higher contrast, notice that some of the detail starts to disappear. We might balance that against lower brightness. So we can change the effects of what we see to some quite some degree. Again, we can toggle off and on the effect to see what kind of differences we've actually made. Do be careful with contrast and brightness. It's quite easy to lead to a fairly washed out image, which is where again we start to lose detail. So that's become very grey. And I'm going to click on that and hit the delete key to remove that and I'm going to have another look at another one. So this time I'm going to scroll down to the image control. And I'm actually going to use this gamma correction filter. And again, we're going to drop that onto the wildlife clip. So nothing happens at first. I've opened up this uh, triangle panel here. And I'm going to use this slider. Notice that it becomes darker when I slide it to the right, brighter when I slide it to the left. Now, what you'll notice here, unlike the brightness and contrast, we're still keeping quite a lot of detail. Essentially what gamma correction does is make blacks seem darker and blacker and white colours seem lighter. What's interesting is when we combine the two, so I'm going to go back to brightness and contrast. So with the gamma correction I've made the image quite dark. I can bring in a little brightness though, just to lift these areas here, but maintain detail at a low level. Alternatively, I could take gamma creation the other way, so it becomes quite bright, and then maybe increase contrasts to allow that colour to come through. So if I just click both of those off, you can see there's a lot of greys going in. If I click those two back on, it just sharpens up the image a little bit. So those are two of the best ways to control light within your work. Good luck with that.